Hey guys, this is Deekshit Sony from Saab Immigration and today we have a new update to discuss uh, regarding the Ontario Immigration Nominee Program. Stay tuned. So since the first announcement came in September 2020 that uh, the OINP was moving to an expression of interest based system something in lines with the ex with the express entry system where uh, candidates would be required to create an expression of interest uh, the system would be then calculating points based on various factors uh, that was supposed to eliminate uh, the so called luck factor that used to be there with the OINP applications now especially in the last couple of years we have seen uh, a mad scramble whenever uh, the OINP program used to open five or seven minutes the program was first was filled up and just the uh, just the scope of registration was more of based on luck so this expression of interest system should take away most of that so uh, effectively now since april 28 to 2021 all the candidates eligible under the employer job offer uh, uh, foreign worker stream and the international graduate stream they would be required to create an expression of interest there is no charge there is no government fees to create this expression of interest once you are in the pool the system would calculate your points based on certain factors um we will be looking at certain points certain factors that the government takes into consideration right now as well Uh, as you can see in the screen so um there are different attributes that the government is going to look at that the OINP system is going to look at for example what uh, skill level does your does your job fall under uh, knock level knock skill level a gives you the maximum points 10 um so bear in mind they have uh, also mentioned that the masters graduate or the phd graduate streams has not yet opened so the points for the job offer is not applied to these two specific streams the next is the job of a knock type what sub level so uh, we will be talking about the knock matrix the knock hierarchy in in detail the next is the job of a wage uh, so you get maximum points if your salary is offered at $40 per hour or higher less than $20 per hour gives you no points how much experience in canada do you have uh, what knock level do you have canadian experience in what your earnings history in canada is the highest education the field of study canadian education experience and so on so let's just explain these two programs again the international graduate stream requires you to have graduated within the last 2 years of applying you need to have a full time job offer in category knock 0a or b from an eligible employer now employers have to meet certain requirements based on the revenue based on uh, how old the business is and uh, uh, and how many employees uh, do they currently employ uh these requirements are are based on whether the business is based out of gta which is the greater toronto area or outside of uh gta uh the same thing goes for the foreign worker stream the foreign worker stream the person has to have a job in knock level 0 ab at a salary equal or higher than the median wage for that particular uh, job offer uh So yes that was uh, uh that was today uh, April 28th it took it took some time but uh, we really hope this streamlines uh, the OINP application system going further in case uh, you have any questions about uh, your application about your eligibility or anything about the system uh, feel free to reach out to us uh, the uh, the contact information will be mentioned in the description in the in the video once again my name is Deekshit Soni from Saab Immigration and uh, we'll see you soon Thank you. Hey guys, thank you for watching. I hope you really found the video informative. Uh but before we go, I want to discuss a very important facet of this OINP employee job offer international graduate stream. Now, different requirements for this program they have been discussed in a lot of platforms. Information is very clearly mentioned on the OINP website as well. However, from what we have seen since last year, uh there's a very crucial point in the applicant requirements for the international graduate stream which has been overlooked which is the education stream now um i'm going to share my screen here 
uh, if you see, so this is, we are on the OINP employee job offer international student stream. If we click on the applicant requirements, uh, or rather just go down, that's actually easier. Um, so it says you have to now have an expression of interest and invitation to apply. This is starting uh, April 28th. However, the second point, education, is the most important one. It says in order to be eligible, you must have received from an eligible Canadian institution one of the following. A degree or diploma that takes at least two years to complete if you study on a full-time basis. Or, this is the most important point a degree, diploma, or certificate that takes at least one year to complete if you study on a full-time basis and that requires a completed degree as an admission requirement. They've explained it in very clear wording in the next paragraph. This means that in order to be eligible, your one-year program must require a completed degree as an admission requirement. One-year programs are ineligible if they require a degree or a diploma or a degree or work experience or something similar regardless of whether you personally completed a degree program prior to being accepted into that one year program. To put that into more clarity, most of the postgraduate certificate programs which are one year, they require you to have completed a bachelor's degree or a diploma. Those programs as per the OINP International Graduate Stream requirements do not qualify the candidate to apply under the stream. That being said, if someone just studied high school from their home country and they did a two years undergraduate diploma, then that is an eligible credential to apply under the stream. Um, so a lot of candidates now, the question is, what if I, if, what if I have done two one, -year, two one year programs? So a one year, for example, if you have done a one year postgrad, uh, postgrad project management diploma or a certificate followed by something like, let's say, a human resources management. Even then, even then, OINP does not consider that as having been, as, as having met the eligibility criteria for this particular stream. So either a two-year credential at any level, undergrad level or a postgrad level, or a degree, or if you have done a one-year uh, one uh, certificate, make sure you have reviewed from your institute's website the admission criteria because the ambiguity was most of the programs they require either a degree or a diploma as their admission requirement. I hope this was helpful. Thank you so much. Bye.